A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindi newspaper for 4th March. On the front page you have UN rights body moves Supreme Court on citizenship amendment. So this is the decision taken by Geneva based Office of High Commissioner for Human Rights. So this is an unprecedented and rare move where the Human Rights Commissioner has announced its plan to file an application in the Supreme Court asking the asking to be impeded in petitions challenging citizenship amendment act so this is you can see uh, statements been given here like un intervention to be decided by supreme court and uh, here also we have unprecedented in the diplomatic history of india and no foreign party has any locus standi on issues pertaining to india's sovereignty is what ministry of external affairs says Then here you have envoy summoned after Iran slams Delhi riots. So Iranian foreign minister commented on riots in Delhi, which uh, India says are not accept acceptable, and it has summoned the Iranian envoy to India. So he was summoned to the Ministry of External Affairs, and uh, the and the statement given as such was said was not acceptable. Then below you have Italian tourist tests positive for COVID-19. So an Italian tourist in India has tested positive for new coronavirus, and this is the sixth case confirmed in the country. Prime Minister chaired review meetings, and visas to Italy, Iran have been suspended. And here you have Centre working on elusive exclusive body for river linking projects. So central government is working on establishment of this exclusive body, which will implement projects for linking rivers across the country. It will be called National Interlinking of Rivers Authority (NIRA), and the proposed body is expected to take up both interstate and intrastate projects. It will also make arrangements for generating funds internally and externally for river linking projects. Then here you have. Center in talks with states wary of NPR. So, center said it was in discussion with states that had expressed concerns over updation of NPR from April to September. So, it is discussing with the states that NPR uh, data collected would not be used. Demographic and other particulars to be updated during the updation of NPR. No document will be collected during this exercise. Has been assured. On page seven, you have High Court orders demolition of structures in catchment areas of Sukhna Lake. So this is Sukhna Lake in Chandigarh. Punjab and Haryana High Court has declared this as a living entity, and uh, you know, uh, actually now uh, uh, the Chief Minister has also stated that they will do everything to protect people's interest. So Punjab and Ch Punjab Chief Minister has asked. Uh, Advocate General of the State to examine in detail the High Court order with respect to constructions in the area around Sukhna Lake. So demolition has been ordered, and state government is going to implement it. On page eleven, you have government imposes curbs on drug exports. So India has restricted the export of common medicines such as paracetamol and twenty-five other pharmaceutical ingredients and drugs made from them. Because we need to prevent shortage in uh, concerns of coronavirus outbreak turning into a pandemic. So over-the-counter painkiller and fever reducer paracetamol and dr such drugs have been restricted for exports. So there are the common antibiotics etc. which are also restricted. Then below you have black carbon levels spike at Himalayan glacier. So black carbon concentrations near the Gangotri glacier rose 400 times in summer due to forest fires and stubble burning from agricultural waste. So this has triggered glacial melt, according to a study by scientists at Wadia Institute of Himalayan Geology. And concentration of uh, you know as such the carbon concentration here varies. And India is the second largest emitter of black carbon in the world, with emissions expected to increase dramatically in the coming decades. So these are this is 
black carbon. It is said unlike carbon dioxide which can stay in the atmosphere for years together, black carbon is short lived and remains in the atmosphere only for days or weeks before it descends as rain or snow. When black carbon comes from incomplete combustion of fossil fuels and biomass. It is the second largest contributor to climate change after carbon dioxide. And this is Ministry of Defence withdraws disability pension order. So, Ministry of Defence has directed principal controller of defence accounts to stop deducting tax on disability pensions of veterans and withdraw the contentious circular issued to that effect. So, it is said that uh, the issue, circular of you know pension disbursing agencies that they may recover income tax on disability pension. So, this should not be implemented. So, Supreme Court is also hearing the matter and Ministry of Defence has not allowed this to take place anymore because uh, tax deduction on pensions is resulting in very little coming in the hands of the defence personnel. On the editorial page, the first editorial is growing numbers. So, this is regarding coronavirus, the threat. It says India cannot be complacent while dealing with the possible spread of coronavirus, COVID-19. So, we have seen on front page to how the sixth case has now been detected. And this is flow and ebb. So, this is regarding cricket. It says India had a rude jolt in New Zealand after doing well in the shortest form of cricket. So, that is uh, 2020, the 2020 series which took place. Then the lead article is a COVID-19 response that is quick off the blocks. So, this says that given India has a fragile health system, it is still critical to plan a coordinated and coherent action plan to tackle coronavirus outbreak. So, it talks about how steps need to be taken, the Ebola example, how Ebola in Kerala was tackled. So, that can be replicated. The communication is the key in such cases and immediate response is essential. Then this is a blow against social justice. So, this article talks about uh, reservation and promotion for SEs and STs. So, it says denying application of reservation and promotions has largely confined SEs and STs to lower cadre jobs. So, reservation is there but reservation and promotions not being there means SEs, STs, STs remain at the same level. They don't get promoted. So, that is what this article is arguing. And uh, on the op-ed page, you have the demolition of reason. So, it says, what we see today is adoption of various strategies of evasion, obfuscation, def deflection and denial. So, the way you know, protests are going on and, uh, you know, against the CA and the response which comes uh, you know, against these protests. So, that has been detailed out here. And this is the legacy of childhood trauma. So, this talks about policies on domestic violence. It says this, it, they ignore the effect of trauma on children and intergenerational transmission of violence. So, this is a known fact that the domestic violence would have its impact on children. It would cause in childhood trauma. That is not covered in laws and policies. And this is tapping the LIC source. So, this is regarding the announcement made in budget 2020 that uh, disinvestment of LIC would take place. But then this says government should ensure that a fair return is realized from the proposed partial disinvestment of LIC. On international page you have, we are in uncharted territory, says World Health Organization. So, globally it is said coronavirus has killed more than 3,155 people and infected over 92,723 in 78 countries now. So, coronavirus is spreading and this is what World Health Organization Chief Tedros Adhanom says that we are in uncharted territory. We have never before seen a respiratory pathogen that is capable of community transmission but which can also be contained with the right measures. China has imposed draconian quarantines and travel restrictions to people indoors. So, it's a strategy that appears to have paid off because new cases have generally fallen 
as such for days now in Ch from China. Then this is Taliban attacks of gun bases throwing peace talks in doubt. So Taliban we saw yesterday too has attacked Afghan government forces. It says it will attack the Afghan army and Afghan police but not foreign forces. So after US Taliban talks, intra-Afghan talk between Taliban and the Afghan government of, Bashar, of President Ashraf Ghani was expected. But now that is doubtful because attacks on Afghan bases continue by Taliban. 33 attacks in 16 out of 34 Afghan provinces in just 24 hours took place. On business page you have Vodafone Idea pays 3043 crores in deferred spectrum deals. So Bharti Airtel has also paid up, Rio paid up, even Tata's have paid up in adjusted gross revenue dues to the telecom department as such. So payments were made after Supreme Court came down heavily on telecom sector. And here you have rupee in free fall on COVID 2019 fears. RBI soothes market. So rupee fell for the third consecutive session on concerns over the deadly coronavirus spreading in India. And central bank, that is RBI, stepped in to calm investor sentiments. So RBI, you can see, it issued a statement saying that RBI was closely monitoring the situation and stood ready to take appropriate action if required. And this is rural ATMs under recalibration for 200-500 nodes. So, automated teller machines, ATMs, mostly in rural areas are now being recalibrated to replace the cassettes for 2000 bank notes with either those of rupees 500 or 200. It is said this is because in such areas demand for 2000 bank notes is not high, while lower denomination notes are more sought after. So, this has been done. So that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia.com. Thank you.